Hi guys, today is my turn to get vaccinated and I'm going to share with you my journey to be vaccinated in the National Stadium in Bukit Jalil. It is another bigger uh, version of the uh, small clinic jab. So it's really different uh, process and procedure altogether with what my mom is experiencing. So I'm going to bring you there and share with you how the whole process goes. Hopefully they won't stop me recording. So without further ado, let's go. You guys must be wondering why I'm taking my vaccine in one of the stadium, a sports stadium. It was because that um, currently um, the government has opened up the stadium as a vaccination centre for this COVID-19. And um, what they are doing there is like for those who are 40 years old and below, Currently, they are vaccinating them at this location. So this location is only valid for those who are living in the Klang Valley, 40 years old and below. And I heard that uh, this was based on the date that you have registered for the vaccinations. It's not by age anymore. Now it's based on who is the earliest that registered during um, the announcement. So I'm lucky that I'm one of the earliest uh, registrants in the My Sajatra and this is only the uh, maybe the first week, end of the first week or beginning of the second week that they have just started this vaccination AR station. So I would like to know how the whole process goes in this type of big convention or big area where they vaccinate um, thousands and thousands of people in a day uh, compared to the one that my mom has in the clinic so um, if you ask me I'm not nervous at all at this moment but I'm not quite sure when the time reach I need to take the jab how would I feel but uh, I will let's share with you also when the time comes H-C-O-B and C is there Alright guys, this is how the stadium looks like. You have a, a round stadium over here and this is the sitting. So uh, the vaccination area is just here. Oh, 
Tanya.
Once you get vaccinated, you get free ice cream some more. It's a reward from Malaysia Airlines. outside. Basically that's uh, how the whole Bukit Jalil vaccination process uh, goes from A to Z. What I realized is like it's really fast and I haven't had any time to prepare myself and I'm in the room to be vaccinated. So that was a really good one because I do not have any feeling before that. So I'm not scared. I'm not afraid of anything I was not worried so um, that would be a very very good one and if you can see from the process they have a few layers of screening through checking on your my Sajatra. the first point where they actually check on my my Sajatra, have me updating my profile and then when I come into the second one they ask us to actually scan to check in into Bukit Jalil this area and then they actually double confirm again on my appointment in this uh, location after that we have to walk for a while into uh, the other area where we will be given a form actually it's two sets of forms for us to fill up and declare ourselves on our symptoms and also an agreement that saying that we are agreed to be vaccinated with this uh, vaccine that is a uh, Sinovac for me and then uh, I have to submit the form for checking so there's a counter for me to check my uh, forms making sure everything is in order and then he will re verify my IC number and also checking on my IC as well and then I'll be going to another counter where there's a consultation area where the person in charge or the specialist will ask you whether do you have any allergies any medications that you are taking whether there's any um, incompatibility with the particular uh, vaccine seems like uh, everything is okay while well, when I step up from the counter and I'm in the vaccination room already so that is really fast and I do not need to even wait I'll just walk in take the thing fill up the form checking checking and then you are vaccinated so it takes like about less than 10 minutes from the time I'm picking up the form up to the time I'm being vaccinated and sat down in the observation area so I think um, that's all folks for my uh, sharing on my vaccination here I hope you like what I've shared here and you have an overview how the, um, the whole process goes overall I'm very happy with this and I hope this video will also be an eye-opener for you as well on our government um, health ministry so um, if you like my video please remember to press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you haven't already done so so thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye